Hey folks, today I'm painting Asmodeus from Zombicide Green Horde. Or is this V for Vendetta? Alright, so Asmodeus is primed with Alien Purple from the Army Painter. I was gonna do the black primer, uh, but you know what? I kinda like this, print, this purple. So I start off by using the technique that Army Painter suggests in their guide, which is using the purple tone on the Alien Purple. Now, I had left some purple tone on my wet palette, and this is what it gives. It watered it down completely. I was like, why is it blotching so much? So I had to go back, shake it up again, and put some more, and it comes out a lot better, as you can see. Hey guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I know most of you are not subscribed yet. It's free. It doesn't make a difference, but it so does support the channel. Alright, so we're moving on to some matte black from the Army Painter. And this is going to be for his boots, uh, some belts, uh, some parts of his little daggers, and of course, his hat. So if you feel like chatting with me about board games, miniatures, and video games, come see me play video games with my friends on Twitch TV at Easterling79. I stream on Friday nights at 9pm Eastern Time, and eventually I will be adding on more days to that. But again, it's Twitch TV Easterling79. Now this guy had a little bit more of a brownish auburn hair going, but I went with Mars Red because it had more of an orangey look, and with the wash later on it gives it the brownish finish look. Uh, a little brighter than I wanted, but you know what, it still turns out pretty good. Now for his face mask, I'm using this unique color, Armor Grey, which is from the Zombicide Invader Army Painter paint set. Now I'm going to be using the Corpse Pale uh, paint from Army Painter. This is for his hands. And I'm going to be using a nice metallics color from the Army Painter called Shining Silver. And this of course is for his, I guess these are big daggers, swords? He has little dag throwing knives on him kind of thing, but and I use those, I, you'll see I go there now and do just the little tops of that. Alright, now I'm going to use some bright gold. It's a metallics paint from the Army Painter. Now I think I actually used the Combat Gold from Zombicide Invader. Uh, but I forgot to show the bottle here, but anyways, that is a paint from that paint set but it's also equivalent to bright gold. So I use this for the handles on the swords and a couple little other details on this figure. All right, so using the last technique is dry brushing, oozing purple from the Iron Painter. <laughs> the miniature went flying there. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I use the uh, Masterclass dry brush, medium size, just to get all his cape. And I do get some of the rest of it as well. Now I'm gonna use some Game Master paint, which is Cavern Highlights. And I'm using this for the feather on his hat. Now, it's a weird color to use, but I just found it had this feathery look to it. And I'm actually going to use the cavern effects to do a dry brush on the tips of the feathers. Now I'm going to use a paint from the Zombicide Black Plague paint set, and it's also from Army Painter. This is Abomination Gore. It's also Abomination Gore in their regular line of war paints. I'm going to use this for all the details on this guy, like little details. So like around the boots, uh, around his hat, the trim, and uh, like the stitching on his pants, and some parts of the daggers as well.
All right, now I'm going to use some Strong Tone, which is a quick shade wash from the Army Painter. And I'm going to use this on everything that is not purple. Uh, this is just to finish off the miniature a bit and give it some detailing. Now, for some reason, I decided to use Basilisk Brown from Army Painter. I thought it was more brown. It's going to be more of an earthy color, but it's like really bright yellow orange. Anyways, that's for the base, and I will put on some uh, Army Painter rocks on it afterwards. So that is Asmodeus all painted up, ready for the table, ready to fight the Green Horde. And you're going to notice that his outfit was more dark with like a purple hue. I decided to go purple just in general. I find it gives a little bit more color on the table, a little bit different. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Hope you have a good day and get your miniatures to the table.